my name is Ryan. Uh, I'm from France. I'm 24 years old, and I'm doing my voluntary service in Moldova in Chisinau since uh, end of October for one year. And uh, I currently work in a dog shelter. Called, the name is Dacha Shelter. I love my project, but uh, but uh, yeah, there is some hard points. First, it's like it's really really physical job. Uh, in average, I walk uh, 20 kilometers per day uh, between the, the the way to go to the shelter and the different walk. I have quite a long trip. I have 40 45 minutes uh, in the bus uh, to going to the bus stop, and then 20 25 minutes to walk into the shelter. Uh, and after, I have basically uh, many tasks. Uh, I have to walk some dogs. I have to uh, to give water to the dogs, to uh, clean the cages, to give to feed them. Uh, yeah, just just make sure they are in good health. Also, the sometimes we we are just we have to still to walk dogs even if it's raining, even if it's snowing. And yeah, as we know, the winter in Moldova is not easy. Uh, we can go until minus 20 degrees, so... <laughs> the most fun part, obviously, it's... I mean, I guess it's not the funny part for everyone, but for me, it's to be surrounded by 350 dogs. <laughs> I just love that. And yeah, the, all the animals, the, the cat and the dog, they are so grateful for their job. They just want more attention, more human contact, more love, and uh, and I just love it. They arrive at the shelter, so I expect them to be like wild, aggressive, scared, but they are not at all. They just they just want attention. They just want love again. So that was like the biggest difference between my expectation and the reality. All the shelter uh, is like surviving thanks to the donation in general and the volunteers so basically um, one one of the of the goal of the shelter is not only just help the animals in the street it's also to find family in other country and yeah like when we when we finally find a, a family who is interesting to adopt a cat or a dog from our shelter they usually give a donation for the shelter for all the work we, we can do and we survive by here so we like all the year have um, a PayPal account and everyone can give to helping them and uh, yeah it's important to know that uh, really little things for uh, Western Europe country can be a lot in Moldova for example we used to say that five euros can feed the dogs for one month I would like to spend 24 hours seven days a week in this project because I just felt really really helpful and I felt like the shelter needed me and uh, I just loved all this animal and I wanted to help them a lot so uh, what I would advise yeah just to give prepare with a lot of energy and uh, and a good condition <laughs> good physically condition <laughs>